Hello and happy Thursday. Hope everybody's doing great today and that you are all feeling excited about the, this weekend coming up and be able to spend some time with your family. I wanted to pop in today and do a quick Facebook Live. I'm going to do something different on Thursdays. I'm going to do a three thing Thursdays and I apologize in the front if you hear any clunking or banging today because right above me is my little kid's room and from the last check they were making a mountain of stuffed animals and we're jumping on them. So hopefully it won't be too many crashes and bashes today but I thought that I would just Disclaimer that in case you hear some smashing and crashing, I promise nobody's getting hurt. Um, okay, so today what I thought I would do is I would talk to you a little bit about math manipulatives. You'll find that there are some companies that sell some great um, math manipulatives and in kits or individually. So what is a math manipulative? First, this is a really long word and I'm going to repeat it a lot and I'm going to get tired of saying it. But basically the idea is to have a tactile something for your kids to touch while they're doing math. A lot of times they are like little cubes that connect together or they are shapes and puzzles or things like that. So I wanted to tell you, you don't need to buy the kits of all the little blocks if you don't want to. You can if you would like to and you can afford to. But if you're cheap like me or you just want to be able to use what you have around your house, I thought I would mention three of my favorite ones so that you can see it. There's tons and tons and tons of things that you can use right in your house to help you with math without having to spend lots of money, but I'll just show you three and then I'll give you a bonus one at the end. So let me show you the first one. This is one of my favorite math methods. The buttons are a fantastic tool to be able to do math with. They are great when you've got little ones because they can spend some time learning sorting and classification. There's so many different styles and colors. They can sort them based on how many holes there are. So this one has two and this one has four, for example. They come in different sizes. They're small and there's large and there's even some that have, let me see if I can find one in here. Well, I'm about to get invaded, I think, by small people. So this one doesn't have any holes, but it's got a little a little hook on the back. And you can usually find buttons pretty cheap at the dollar store. I'm doing a live video. Can you please go? Absolutely helpless kind of cat. Okay, I will help you when I'm finished, okay? And this is what happens when you have kids. <laughs> live with kids. Okay, so anyways, buttons are my favorite. They can be used for number counting. They can be used for division because you can separate them into groups. You can do them for classification and patterning. Buttons are fantastic and you can often find large collections of them at the Value Village or even on Amazon. I think you can probably buy different bundles of things like that. Just keep, and Michaels, you can buy batches of various buttons. So that's one of my favorite manipulatives, buttons. All right, so the next one you may be wondering what the heck these are one of my favorite and they just about are free because they come with your food. Ready? Let me show you. Milk tabs or bread tabs. Um, so I collect these. I've collected them for a long time. Milk and bread tabs are fantastic for doing manipulatives. If you keep, if you don't live in a place where you get milk with a tab, don't stress because there's bread ones, just bread ones. I collect a lot with milk because we go through thousands of pounds of milk a day, I think. Um, anyway, so the bread often comes with different colors. So for example, there's green, there's pink, they've got purple, you've got all kinds of different colors that you can have just from these tabs. And they make fantastic um, free manipulatives that you can use. When you've got little ones, you can do things like draw circles on paper and color them in with a specific color and give them a handful of tabs and say, put this color, sort them by color, and they can do all kinds of things with the tabs are great for adding, they're great for subtracting, they're great for classification, oops sorry, and they're great again for the multiplication and dividing into groups, that kind of thing. So this is just a simple way to be able to collect what you're going to have in your house already to be able to make yourself a manip manipulative collection, okay? So buttons are first, milk tabs or bread tabs are second, and my third one, let me show you this. it's a secret, not anymore I guess marshmallows okay 
So kids love food. I'm gonna tell you that straight up, that if you can use food as a math incentive, use food as a math incentive. Goodness gracious. Um, marshmallows, chocolate chips, jelly beans, and if you're not into the unhealthy food, you can use things like peas, you can use any little tiny tactile um, things that they can use. You can use veggie sticks, you can use anything. As long as they can use them and count and subtract and add and multiply with them, any of that kind of divide them into groups, they can use them as a manipulative, okay? You can use anything. Those are my top three. Those are three that I'm telling you about today. I'm going to tell you an extra secret one, an extra bonus one, because this is too important. So one of the things that's really common with math programs like Math UC, for example, is they use bricks. They use um, units. My brain just totally shorted up. They use units and they're all like in lines and there's individual units and there's block, there's large strip units for 10 and then there's some for 100, that kind of thing. So um, if you cannot afford those math and you happen to have Lego at home, use Lego. Okay, Lego is already ready for you to interconnect, to make them grow. You can also use the, um, I'm actually using my Lego right now, but let me show you, does it work? Okay, so see how this one, these ones have four dots on them? Guess what? You can use this as a math manipulative. If you use the little four shaped ones to build your 10 units high, you can do that no problem. But do you see the one underneath? It's really long. So let's see, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 20, 30, 32. Probably did that wrong. But you can totally use Lego as a manipulative. Okay? So um, just use whatever you have at your home. You don't need to spend huge amounts of money to be able to do math and get tactile with math. You can print out shapes. You can do all kinds of stuff to be able to learn math at home hands-on. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message below and I'll be happy to answer them as best as I can. If you have a favorite hands-on math manipulative that you like to use in your house, feel free to let me know so that we can share it with other people. And other than that, I hope that you guys all have a great day.